hello and welcome back to Model Maker Dave's workshop and on this video it's an update time well to be fair there's not much for me to update you guys of because I've had a few days off and I've been away and I've come back but I thought I would do a video so for the the Honda that I'm doing I've got the the lens is done, well, almost done, I'll say. Um, the orange for the indicators is in. The the black around the edge is just... Um, just a good old Sharpie pen used around the edge. All I'm trying to do is, is simulate the, the rubber... the rubber seal that goes between lens and the light itself so so that's that idea the red brake light rear light needs to be done again because even i can see it's a little bit patchy in there and it's a bit patchy in there as well so we'd we'd do that again and put another couple of coats on and see where we go on that so that's that bit the exhaust no further forward it is what it was the last time i showed you so not much to say on that one um the wheels i've now used some liquid mast around the majority of it it's just these raised areas that have got no mask on so i'm either going to do use hot metal blue or uh, hot metal violet on them just as a as an accent color it's a custom bike is a custom build so it will be a little bit different i'm not necessarily sticking to the rules on this one it's it's um it's a custom build and as far as i'm concerned anything pretty much goes the chain guard has had several coats of semi-gloss black put on it and i've very carefully rubbed it back with a bit of 3000 sanding sponge um, i've before i started using this I, I rubbed it on my other table that i use for laptop or um, spray booth and knocked off the newness so that it wasn't too harsh but as you can see I've still got a bit more to do on that the other thing that I've done is hopefully got rid of the seam line that's along the along the chain on both sides I'll have another look at that and if necessary go over it again uh, the engine, oh well that's, I think that's pretty much the same as what it was the last time I did an update. I haven't done anything else on this, so that is as it was. Um, the saddle sides I've done the same as I, I've done on the, on the chain guard itself. Um, as for... The detail work on the saddle, I'm thinking if I've used the blue on the wheels, then I'm going to use the violet just in these grooves. What colour this will be will probably be a matte black, I think. Mm, maybe. Don't know. I'm, I'm still thinking about that one at the moment. And I haven't really made me mind up or made any decision on that uh, the tank is ready for spraying so hopefully tomorrow i can get the spray booth set up and and get this primed and and top coated maybe if the gods of spraying will allow uh, my guard is ready, but then it was ready when the last time I spoke to you. As f 
for these little figures that I've cast using the um, thermoplastic and milliput. I thought they was all right until I put some paint on them. The only problem is the detail in the uniform around this area is very soft. Um, I'm kind of thinking I, when I made the mould, I I didn't, I wasn't firm enough when I pushed the figure in, and it didn't capture it all. So. When, when the casting kit arrives, I will recast these and do them in resin and see if, if that makes any difference. Hopefully it will. Hopefully that detail and a bit more detail in his face will come through. It is there, but it's just, it's just a little bit too soft. Now I'm, I'm being picky, but if you're going to do it, do it right and do it right once rather than do it like this, put it in and then think, well, you know what, I'm not really happy with that. And then start again because, you... no, it's just not worth doing that. If you're going to do it, do it properly for the first time. Um, what else? Um, the cast, when I do the castings, the jerry cans i'm going to make i'm put probably two on here and make a little um straps uh, framework uh, make it look like it's been um, i don't know about welded but drilled and bolted on maybe something done in the field because that's what they did um, we go from there on that one. Uh, I've still got to sort the base out. It, it's there. Huh? i just got to stick it in place. Um, maybe put some supply boxes in here as well. Um, I think three figures will be enough in there. Otherwise, it's going to look a little bit overcrowded. So that's where I am on, on that. Um, the base... The base has come on a little bit more. The bricks have been dink dented and beaten up, painted, highlighted, and then I've gone over them with some rubble dust just to make it all look dirty and filthy. I'm going to put some more rubble dust in here, and it saves me having to try and paint in there. I know, it's a bit lazy. Um, I should have done something about that, but never mind. Um probably do a little bit more over the drain and just try and dig the, the grills out and just give it that dirty look uh, and the vehicle will sit on like that it's it's looking good it's getting there I've, I've just got to get the figures done the floor done maybe do the jerry cans on there um, and then we're pretty much done I th although I'm, I'm mm, a bit too late now to put a driver figure in there that's a shame never mind you're not going to see him anyway so it doesn't make too much of a difference so we'll put that over there um the motorcycle inside car no further progress at the moment um the figures as well I haven't done any more on those apart from maybe um, a bit more flesh work but they are pretty much as the last time you saw them as for the few the RAF pilots they nothing nothing done on that they are still very much where they are um, other than that I've I've got nothing else to update you on for a workbench update so i think i will call it quits and let you get you on let you get on with your days and uh, thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one